Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life, cause I don't feel alive, and there's nothing that makes me happy. Oh. Hold my beer for a minute I'm about to quit my job Cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip And I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there Till I feel like I'm winning all And this is... Hey guys, welcome to my review of the Pasolek GS9 Dual Suspension Mountain Bike. This is a fun little bike for this price point. And it's loaded with some features that are pretty cool for light duty mountain biking, light duty trail riding and so forth. This bike comes equipped with a 700 watt peak, 500 watt Bafang rear hub motor, nine speed cassette, an A5 derailleur, an A5 trigger system, and zoom hydraulic disc brakes. Those zoom hydraulic disc brakes are really, really cool. They stop on the dime and I've been taking this bike a lot out on the trails and you really need your bikes when you're when you're doing those trails because you use them quite a bit so you want to make sure you have good brakes when you're doing that kind of stuff and those brakes seem to fit the build just perfect it also comes with a 13 amp hour battery and this battery is kind of integrated into this tube and if you look at it this bike doesn't really look like an e-bike it looks like more of a traditional mountain bike which I think is a pretty cool aesthetic. There is one thing that can be considered a con on this bike. If you're gonna buy this bike for commuting or even if you're a mountain biker and you live in an apartment, this bike is a little bit heavy. So if you live on the second floor or third floor, it might be pretty cumbersome to have to take this bike up there every night. You know, I know some people have bike locks and they lock them downstairs or they might have a garage or something like that. Um, but if you needed to take the battery out in order to charge it, it can be a little cumbersome. What you have to do on this bike is you either have to tilt it really far back on its, on its kickstand, or you pretty much have to lay the bike on its side. When you lay the bike on its side, you can then remove the, the battery and then you can charge it. So that could be considered a con. But for me, it's not really because, you know, I, I pretty much have a charging station at my house for my e-bikes, so I just roll them up to the charging station and I plug them in and they're good to go. So that's one thing to take into consideration. This bike also has an 80 millimeter rear suspension shock and originally this bike came with a 100 millimeter front suspension that was a Pasolek branded front suspension. Um, I opted to upgrade my suspension the reason why I opted to upgrade it was, you know, I'm a heavy rider, I'm about a 260 pounds, and for some reason that front suspension for me, no matter how much I tried to adjust the, the tension on that, on that uh, shock, it just would bottom out like crazy for me, and it, was, it just wasn't doing the job for a person my size. I think if you're a person that's 220 and probably below, it would probably do pretty good for you. But I know that that's one thing that a lot of people upgrade when they get a mountain bike is they upgrade the front suspension because there's so many front suspensions out there that you can tailor this bike to kind of fit your needs. And I think that's just something that a lot of people do. So that's one thing to take into consideration. This bike also comes equipped with a ergonomical uh, hand grips that also lock down, which is a cool feature. Uh, I like them because they don't really cramp my hands. My hands can, I can ride this bike for a long time without any hand cramps. And since they lock down, they're not really wigging on you when you're hitting the, the trails or anything like that. So I like that part of this bike. I also like the way everything is right here. So this has a thumb throttle assist. And then it also has your triggers right here and everything is right there. So you never have to take your hand off the grip and you always have your hand accessible to the brake at all times. You can change gears, no problems. And I think that's really cool the way they designed that. Um, it comes equipped with, you know, your cheap bell. Um, and then the really cool thing about this bike is it does come with an LCD display. And what I like about this display and this controller 
is that they kind of leave it open for you. So, you know, it comes shipped to you as a class two e-bike. So when it, when it comes to you, it's gonna do about 20 miles an hour. But, you know, when you're off-roading and, and, and so forth, you can go in there and you can change that so you can get more speed. I got it set up about, you know, you can go in there and you can change it up to 60 miles an hour. So I set it at 60 miles an hour. This bike doesn't do 60 miles an hour, but I set it there anyway to try to get me as much speed as I can out of this bike. And so far, I've gotten it up to about 28 miles an hour. And um, that's me pedaling, you know, on the pedal assist and, and uh, you know, not pedaling like crazy, trying to make it go fast, but just pedaling at a good rapid, you know, getting a good workout. And I've gotten it up to 28 miles an hour. So I think that's a pretty cool feature. Um, it also has a feature in there where you can program different parameters in this bike. And I've heard some reviews where they said that the pedal assist on this bike was really laggy. Well, there's a, a feature on there that you can program to make that a little bit more responsive so that it comes on quicker if you go and change it. So that way there's not such a lag. There's still a little bit of a lag, but it's not nearly as bad as when you first get it. You can really set it up so that it comes on a lot quicker. There's also another feature on there that sets the, the amount of torque right when you start pedaling um, you know on some e-bikes as soon as you start pedaling the torque comes on really fast and it kind of startles you because it kind of jumps and takes off well with this bike you can adjust it so that you can start pedaling and it torque comes on slowly and then it starts ramping up as you start pedaling more or you can also set it up to be aggressive and have the torque come on instantaneously just like any other e-bike so i think that's a really cool feature and you know, there's a lot of e-bikes that they don't let you get into the programs and they don't let you adjust anything. They pretty much set everything and that's the way it is. So I kind of like the way they did that with this bike. Um, the display is a pretty nice display. Um, it's not the brightest display that I've ever had on an on a e-bike. You know, when it's a really sunny day, um, it's kind of hard to see sometimes. So sometimes you do have to kind of look at it kind of like that or you might have to put your hand over it to see it really well. But if you're under the shade or it's a, you know, a shady day or at night, you can see the, the display really good and it's a really nice display. So I, I really like that display. It also comes with a little five watt LED light that's at the front. Um, that light's okay. It's pretty good for safety, but if you're riding at night, I would opt for either upgrading the light or getting you a light that goes on your handlebars or on your head or something like that if you're gonna be doing any riding at night. It doesn't have any brake lights or any anything like that, but they do ship with this little light that you can put on your seat post. And it's a pretty bright light. You know, it's battery operated, so you got to remember to turn it on and turn it off or else you turn it on and you forget to turn it off, you ain't going to have a battery the next time you ride. Um, so that's, that's that. Um, I did buy these little fenders, and I think I paid like $7 on Amazon for these fenders. They're just plastic fenders. And I just bought them because, you know, it's been raining a lot out here and, you know, I was always going home and I was always wet and all that kind of stuff. So I just wanted something that, that uh, blocked out the, you know, the, the mud and the dirt coming up on me or splashing up on my face. And these do uh, actually do a really good job for $7 and they can be found on Amazon. So, but all in all, you know, this is a really cool bike. And if you're getting into mountain biking for the, you know, first time or, Maybe you, you are a, a mountain biker and you're thinking about, you know, getting a little bit of assistance on the trails because you, maybe you're starting to get older or whatever it is, you think you might need some help. This is a really good bike for, for people like that, you know. When you start looking into the professional type of dual suspension mountain bikes, you know, they get up there in price. And I think, you know, about the cheapest that you can get into for a professional mountain bike is about $4,000. This bike sells for $12.99. And like I said, they, they sell so many upgrades for the bikes that you can really upgrade this bike to, to fit your needs at a really good price and have a really good bike. Because you know the frame is made out of you know a really good aluminum material that I'll, most mountain bikes were, are made out of until you get up into the higher end bikes that are made out of carbon fiber and all that other kind of stuff. But this bike seems to really do really good on the trails. You know, I'm not a big jumper by any means, so I don't really 
you know, I jump maybe jumps about that high. I'm not the guy that jumps the 20 foot um, jumps or anything like that. But there was a gentleman that wanted to borrow my bike out on the trails, and he actually did some really big jumps right after I got these uh, these forks put on, and he seemed to like it. He said, "Man, this bike's really solid. It it it, it feels really good on the, when you when you come down." So. You know, I really think it's a good bike, and it's one that, you know, if you're a modding type of person that likes to upgrade their bikes, this might be a good platform for you to start off with. And uh, and like I said, if you're if you're you know you're a traditional mountain bike guy and you're wanting to go to the electric route, this might be a good uh, a, a starter bike for you. Um, I think that that about covers this bike. I mean. Like I said, I, I really like this bike. It, it really suits my needs. And like I said, I'm a light trail rider, light, you know, a very light mountain bike rider. And uh, I've been having a lot of fun on this bike. So I hope you like this video. And if you like this video, consider subscribing to the channel because I got a lot more e-bike reviews coming out. And uh, I hope you guys have a great holiday. But remember, be kind, love one another, be safe and stay healthy. Peace. Let's go. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work cause my boss is a jerk and I'm not even that paid. I need a change in my life cause I don't feel alive and there's nothing that makes me happy Oh, Hold my beer for a minute, I'm about to quit my job, cash in for a ticket I'm going on a trip and I don't plan to visit I'm gonna stay there till I feel like I'm winning all oh, And this is just the beginning, I need a big change, help me feel like living I need a big swing, home runs I'm hitting and I'll never look back, moving on till I get it all And we all got dreams, we all want things but what you gon' do for it? How you gon' move for it? What you gon' be? And do you believe you can do anything? But what you gon' do for it? How you gon' move for it? What you gon' be? Happy, no, I'm doing things right. Sipping in the summer on a goose and Sprite. Or find a